So far, we have learned about view, text, and image components. Let me now use these components to demonstrate a very important difference between the web and React Native. To begin, we'll keep the outer view component and one image component from the previous video. Let's keep the static image as it is. Next, I'll add a lengthy text component right after the image to emphasize the point. It's a text component with some lorem ipsum text. After the text, I'm going to duplicate the image component. So copy and paste it. If we save the file and return to the simulator or emulator, we'll notice that we have the first image followed by the long text and then the image again, both in iOS and Android. However, there's an issue. We can't scroll down to see the full image. I'm trying to click and drag, but it simply doesn't scroll. And this is a critical distinction between web development and React Native. Although a view component is similar to a div tag, it does not scroll automatically. If that is the case, how can we view the entire content? Well, React Native provides the scroll view component specifically for this purpose. The scroll view component wraps the platform specific scrolling functionality. However, scroll view requires a bounded height to function properly. Let's go back to VS Code and understand this better. To begin, let's import the scroll view component from React Native and replace the view component with scroll view. Returning to our screens, we can see that our content is now scrollable. However, we still can't fully see the end of the second image. This issue arises from the padding on the scroll view component. Although we could remove the padding, doing so, would cause the content to overlap with the status bar. To address this, we can nest the scroll view within the view component. So view component, and we nest scroll view. This way, the scroll view is bounded by the height of its parent, which represents the entire available space with 60 pixels padding. If we save the file, we can now scroll down to the end of the second image successfully. In summary, unlike the div tag in web development, the view component in React Native doesn't scroll by default. For scrollable content, you should utilize the scroll view component and ensure it has a bounded height. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.